and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Quebec, nighttime curfew, new restrictions start tomorrow. The ongoing situation and the impact of the measures will be closely monitored. If necessary, specific additional measures for individuals who are inadequately protected, who account for a sizable proportion of current hospitalizations, may be announced. Quebec Premier François Legault, accompanied by Minister of Health and Social Services Christian Dubé, announced additional measures that will come into force on December 31, 2021, at 5 p.m. to curb the growth in transmission of the virus. What is more, Premier Ligo appealed to all workers in the health network who have left to come back and lend a hand in the days ahead. The number of confirmed positive cases continues to rise and a very worrisome increase in hospitalizations has been observed in the past few days. Exceptional temporary measures must be implemented to avoid further aggravating the situation in the hospitals and to limit scaling back. The following measures are being added to those already in force. Curfew. A curfew will be in force from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Quebecers will, therefore, be prohibited from leaving their homes except in cases that justify travel, such as to obtain health care, for humanitarian reasons, or to engage in priority work. Anyone traveling during this period may have to justify such travel in relation to the allowable exceptions. Offenders will be subject to penalties ranging from $1,000 to $6,000. Private gatherings. Private indoor gatherings must be limited to the occupants of the same residence. Certain exceptions may apply, a visitor providing a service or offering support, a single individual with his or her children, if applicable, can join a family bubble. Educational institutions. Face-to-face -face instruction in elementary and secondary schools has been postponed throughout Quebec until January 17, 2022. If possible, online learning will continue until face-to-face -face instruction resumes. School childcare services remain open for the children of essential workers. The date on which face-to-face -face instruction resumes in post-secondary institutions will be determined later. Places of worship. Places of worship are closed, except for funerals, which must be limited to 25 people. Outdoor events. Outdoor events are still authorized but must be limited to 250 people. Restaurants. Dining rooms are closed. Delivery and takeout are still possible. Commercial enterprises. Commercial enterprises are closed on Sunday, except for certain businesses such as convenience stores, gas stations and drug stores. Sports. Indoor sports are suspended, except for one person alone, two people, in pairs, or the occupants of the same residence. The indoor facilities of downhill skiing centers and snowmobile centers are open solely to allow people to warm up and to use the toilet facilities. Food consumption in the centers is prohibited, although food services can offer takeout. The ongoing situation and the impact of the measures will be closely monitored. If necessary, specific additional measures for individuals who are inadequately protected, who account for a sizable proportion of current hospitalizations, may be announced. The contagion is destabilizing our society. We simply cannot continue in this way. We must make a major change of direction to slow the contagion and do everything to restrict transmission. François Legault, Premier of Quebec. The virus is spreading faster than ever and the rapid rise in hospitalizations is an indicator that leaves no doubt as to the urgency of the situation. If we all make an additional effort to limit our contacts in the coming days and weeks, we will check the growth and reduce the pressure on our health network and staff. Christian Dubé, Minister of Health and Social Services. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.